Hi again, everyone. Welcome to Bay Sunday. I'm your host, Frank Malico. Got another great show for you today. It's all about art. We're branding your products and your services and an East Bay program taking care of young people. But first to pitch, if you'd like to connect with us, we'd love to hear from you. So go to cbssf.com, click on connect, and we'll get you the information, links to all our emails, social media, Facebook, Twitter, and the works. We kick it off with the Art of Living Black. It's the 17th Annual Bay Area Black Artist Expedition. And it's going to be held over at the Richmond Art Center. Over 50 local artists will show off their work. And we're proud to have two of those artists in studio today, uh, Leticia Baker and Stephen Bruce. Welcome to Bay Sunday, you Thank guys. Thank you. Thank you. We're catching up out here. here a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Well, first and foremost, let's, let's just talk about the art of living black. Mm -hmm. um, this is such a big thing. Uh, 50 artists. And you know, it's kind of nice to kind of all be there and sh share uh, your art all at once, I would, would imagine. Yes, um, it's it's actually it's been really wonderful for me. It's in um, my closet and emerging artists uh, who actually want to like st just step in into um, creating or just being connected to you know to, with other artists who are more established. Yeah, and so. everything imaginable, I would think, because we'll talk about your art in a minute because it's it's a little unusual, mm -hmm. um, but uh, from sculptures to uh, you work with copper, everything, right? Yeah, I think it's one of the exciting things about the show is you have such a diverse artist who come from uh, interesting uh, backgrounds. Some are formally taught, some came to art through different directions. Um, but uh, the diversity of the artwork that's on display, um, the mediums, is pretty exciting. So it makes for an exciting show. Well, that leads in it. Leticia, tell our viewers what you do. Okay, well, I am a pyrographer. I create uh, wood burn artwork um, from um, just recycle materials, uh, wood, paper, uh, anything that I could, I could pretty much get my hands on. So um, it's something that I've been doing for 15 years, and um, I, I've been enjoying it. How do, well, how do you, how does that happen? Well, uh, basically, I have an electrical unit um, that I plug in, and I use interchangeable tips to do a lot of the design work in the, in the, uh, the, uh, yeah, a lot of the design work, the colors, the. Um, I, I incorporate acrylic, so it's it's pretty exciting. It's and a pretty just, exciting meeting. Maybe we can bring that picture back, Bruce, uh, uh, Mike, if you don't mind. Uh, talk us through this. You know, it's one of your pieces here. Uh, okay. What exactly went into making this piece here? Well, actually, this is, it's a recycled plywood, and basically um, I incorporate... Um, it's not really a mixed media piece, but I use a, a straight edge a wood burning tip, and I first freehand draw the image, and then I, I pretty much pyro etch uh, the, the image with a wood burning tool. And how big is that? Is that? That's an 18 by 24. 18 by 24. Okay, now, Stephen, you work with acid and copper. <laughs> Talk about what you do. Well, I, you know, really what I'm doing is I'm taking uh, what happens naturally in the environment, like the Statue of Liberty, uh, patina, and um, I'm uh, manipulating color change uh, through different acids. And so I use anything from uh, hydrochloric acid to pickle juice. And really? different acids give me different color responses on the metal. And how do you know? Is it all experimental uh, for the most part? Well, it, it, it wasn't initially. Um, um, when I first started, I would uh, do little tiles and, and just did experimentation for about two years, trying to develop a color palette. Uh -huh. And once I knew what I could create, I'd go back and, and now, um, the work, um, if I'm calling on a color, I, c I could pull whatever I need, whether it's hot sauce, pickle juice. Uh, whatever, because it all reacts differently to absolutely, the copper, right? Absolutely. And some of your work has been, uh, it's on the Big Bang Theory, uh, one of our CBS programs, yes. uh, uh, The Social Network, The Avengers, some movies, so it's, uh, uh, it's pretty prime stuff. time, I guess, uh, huh? Uh, I think the new movie coming out is uh, uh, the, uh, the sequel to The Avengers, uh, Iron Man 3. Uh, okay. It's coming out this fall, or this uh, spring, so... Uh, I just got fortunate and met the right designer at the right time, and um, things have worked out really and well. And is it in the background, or is it? It's, uh, it's, in, it's in the background, uh -huh. and um, as a matter of fact, in the Avengers, it took me a while to find it. Um, but in uh, social, uh, excuse me, horrible bosses, it was, it's in the scene where Jennifer Aniston is uh, nearly nude, and so um, it's a pretty prominent scene. Okay, so. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Minute what? Um, we talked about it off camera, but is it tough to let art go? You spend so much time making a piece, or you mentioned it's like birth in a baby, I guess, right? It is a birthing process, and I, you know, create it and just release it into the world, and um, just I hope it goes home to a good home. Yeah. You know, so usually it does. I have a, I stay connected with the collector. And how about you, Steve? Uh, I'm a little less emotional about it, um, and um, but I am excited that somebody just appreciates 
you know, what I'm creating. And um, so the idea of giving it up um, is exciting to me. Um, somebody appreciates you know, what I could actually conceive and create. And what can our viewers expect when they show up at the Art of Living Black? Uh, I guess a self-guided tour, you just go from, uh, yeah. from piece yeah. to piece? I think the most exciting part about it is the self-guided tours, because you can actually go into spaces and see how artists create. Mm -hmm. um, we have a satellite show uh, at American Steel Studios in Oakland where we'll have um, 10 artists. Mm -hmm. And so you'll see anything from acid on copper to Letitia's work. Uh, uh, the Arthur Wright, I think, who was on the show last year, um, has a unique process. And so, um, well, it wouldn't be right if we didn't show this. Dana <laughs> King, or our old friend Dana King here at KPIX, she's a she's an unbelievable sculpturist. She and is. this is one of her pieces. She'll be there as well, right? She absolutely, is. Yes. absolutely. And the the actually the art tours are um, the, the, the two dates, two weekends, February these. Um, 23rd and 24th and March the uh, 2nd and 3rd. I saw you looking at your notes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some too. Great to have you here. All the best. The Art of Living Black runs now through March 8th at the Richmond Art Center. If you'd like more information, log on to taolb.net. Back with more Bay Sunday right after the break.